everyone, I am San and I am back with another video on IKMC International Kangaroo Mathematics Contest 2022 Candidate Level Class 7 and 8 Question number 28 Several points are marked on a line. Renard then marked another point between each two adjacent points on the line. He repeated this process a further three times. There are now 225 points marked on the line. How many points were marked on the line initially? So they are saying that there were some points with the, which were marked on the line and Renard marked another point between each two adjacent points. Each two adjacent point means next to next. He marked a point between each two adjacent points and after repeating this process of further three times more, there are now 225 points marked on the line. So they are asking that how many points were marked on the line initially. So let's start solving. Look, I have taken a line. I will tell you about a formula. Look, if I put one more dot between it, it means as they have said in the question, he marked one point between two adjacent points. I have put this point between two adjacent points and they have now become three. And this creates the formula of n minus one. Now let's prove it. Look, now they are three. So I will put two points in between these two points and in between these two points. Let's not, let's imagine there are only these three, one, two, three, which I marked earlier. This one, this two, and this three. Look. One, two, three. So, N means these points, three and minus one is equal to two. And I mark two points because this formula n minus 1, I marked first 3 points, 1, 2, 3, I have to find now how many points I have to mark in between these, so we'll, I'll use formula of n minus 1 and 1, 2, 3, in the place of n, 3 will come and 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and I have put 2 marks. So this creates the formula of n minus 1. Now, let the original number be n. And I'm going to mark extra points, uh, you can... And this process goes further. Now let's, they have said that between, then Renard then marked another point between each two adjacent points of the line. He repeated this process a further three times. He did once and repeated this process also further three times. It means one plus C is equal to four. He repeated this process a four times. Look, in first round, this is first round. Now, n minus 1 of the formula and I will n. n of the original number and n minus 1 of the formula. So we get 2n minus 1. And now we will use this 2n minus 1. We go, he got in first round 2 and minus 1 in second round no. in second round he will use 2 and minus 1 here let's take this he has taken this n n minus 1 he will now put again the formula of n minus 1 n minus 1 here and look here I draw one line. Now here will come two. And why it will come low? He marked these two points and there were two points and he marked one point between it. That's why he wrote two here. Because there are two points and he marked one point in them. So two, two, there four. And minus two one the two and minus one is equal to four and minus three 
Now we will do third round. I'm going to erase it. So here comes the third round. And in this. Now we have 4n minus 3. 4n minus 3 comes here. And by using this formula, n minus 1, n minus 1. And he used 2 because I told, because the pro, because of what I told to you earlier. So 4 to the 8, n minus 3 to the 6 and minus 1 is equal to 8n minus 6 minus 1 is equal to minus 7 so we have completed third round three rounds now we will do the fourth round we can do fourth round here yeah, let's do it here fourth round now we have 8n minus 7. 8n minus 7. And by using this formula, n minus 1. And 2 will come. 8 to the 16. n minus 7 to the 14. Minus 1. 16n minus 15. Now we have an equation. We got he now we will stop at the fourth round because uh, he repeated this process four times. So we will stop at fourth round and we know that 16 minus 15. No, sorry, 16 and 16 and minus 15 is equal to is equivalent to 225. And we we have created an equation here, so we just solve it. 16 and is equal to 225. Sign will change plus 15, 16 and is equal to 225 plus 15 is equal to 240. 225 plus 15, 230, yes, 240. Now n is equal to, now we can move there, Look. n is equal to 240 divided by 16 and n is equal to 240 divided by 16, the answer is 15 and this is the answer. So the points marked on the line initially were 15. So and this is answer no and option number C so we circle it. So here the question is solved and the video ends. So thank you guys for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos and share it with others. I will soon meet you in another video. Thank you everyone. Okay, bye.